All right, Livingston, my name is Justin Stetler. So uh, I bought this monster track machine from um, Walmart. A couple hundred dollars was on sale. Felt like a good deal. Everything in it was good, except for the design was faulty. Look where they put your on-off switches and everything. So water falls in there, shorts them all out, and uh, they make sure that I cleaned everything out. And uh, these are the things that I actually need to um, start my own little invention, which I'm going to create an air conditioning system using the geothermal ground temperature that's in the ground. Um, and this is video one of that. So uh, check out video two. Here's the pieces I've collected. We'll go through them in explanation right after this. So the pieces we've acquired out of this is the 12 volt DC and the 7AH um, battery that's inside of it. If you guys want to get a look at that, that's exactly what I'm using out of it. Um, we also have the two motors. These were ran together in a sequence to uh, give it the power it needs, but these are very powerful. Uh, 13,500 rotations per minute on a 12 volt. And uh, I'm almost positive, I think it's a brushless pretty sure might not be sure about that well check it also all the switches that came and were hidden inside of this thing and the charger uh, we'll go ahead and now you can see how powerful they are and the cool part is there's actually a slower speed Now these will be used as the fans to call the air from the ground up into the house, and they also reverse. That's the coolest thing about pulling exactly what you need out of, out of what you need. There's no thought process involved. This is video two. Check out video three. All right, Livingston, if you want to see the basic mechanics of what I'm talking about here, here's our ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig. 10 feet down, and I'm going to place a stainless steel box. Uh, it'll have an intake coming up past the ground, and what it's going to do is intake air in here, come down here, and uh, in the process there'll be a fan sucking here, um, which is one of those, um, and also we will intake, here's our house, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to send the air this way up into the house so cold air will rise from the floor and we will move on up vent it and push all the hot air out of the house um, this is the general design among it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start another video so I don't have to upload these at Wi-Fi um, check it out Okay, and then once we have this set up, the air intake goes in, into the steel box, fan here. Um, there will also be a fan here. Um, and that's these two motors that I pulled from that car. Uh, I pulled those because these two motors under this wiring harness system can has two speeds, slow and fast, and it also has reverse, slow and fast. So you could actually uh, reverse the entire system, suck air out of your house and blow it up, uh, or suck it in, either which way. Um, and this battery here is a 12 volt battery. We will have the battery setup system right here. Um, and there will also be a 12 volt trickle charger right there um, to collect the sun rays. And uh, no problem, sweetie. And uh, this is exactly how it works. It's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. My design uh, and method has a couple extra things I'm not going to share due to I want to patent this and sell it to people who have a brain. And, um, you know, you're talking about no energy to pump an unlimited supply of 55 degree air into your house. Bottom line is, whether there's a fire on top of this ground, or whether there's a block layer of ice all the way across it, you go three feet down, you get 55 degrees. So you blow that air up into your house and that's it. Common sense. Now, why this is, has not been adopted by anybody is obvious. Um, because you can't enslave people with power if you give them reasons not to use it. Amen.
All right, so uh, essentially this is what we have. There's about, if you're, I, I realize there's a lot of people in this world today that their uh, minds are being filled with all these different ideas and they have no, uh, no way of, um, of entertaining it. But what you need to do is they've made everything so, they've made all these simple things so complicated to understand that you literally uh, have to just go ahead and look at something that you think is going to do what you need it to do um, from a different level. Um, this is just one of the thousands of things that run through my head every day on how to turn something like this into something like that. Now there's a thousand million ways to do it. This is just the one I found from something dying in my yard. The truth will be revealed, and I am an I am.